Noah, also known as No in Hebrews, was the son of Lamech. His name meant relief. This was significant because he indeed brought relief to the earth. He was of the ninth generation after Adam. He was the tenth generation of creation for the ninth generation from Adam. Cain, Abel, and Seth were the first generation. Enoch was the second generation. Canaan was the third generation. Mahalil, the fourth generation. Jared, the fifth generation. Enoch, the sixth generation. Methuselah, the seventh generation. Lamech, the eighth. And Noah, the ninth. Noah was a righteous man and a man with good moral standing before God as God chose him alone throughout the earth to carry out his plan of preserving the earth. Noah Noah was a hero because the fact that there is an existence of the earth today is because he chose to be righteous. If he had been like other people on earth who were violent and wicked, the earth may have not been preserved today. God was ready to destroy all the earth and cancel its total existence because of the men that lived in it. As a righteous man, Noah found favor in the eyes of God. God decided to establish his covenant with him and therefore involved him in his plan of starting a new race and preserving him and his family from the destruction that was going to come upon the earth. When people began to multiply upon the earth, strange things began to happen. The sons of God, angels, took a liking to the daughters of men. That is, the angels of God began to like the daughters that were born unto men. Thus angels came to earth to get married to these daughters and became fallen angels. They left their first estate to dwell among men and fulfill their unholy desires with human females. Humans and angels are not supposed to mate. It is against nature because their union produced beings that were not completely human. They grew more than the average human would. They were big, giant, and many of them with more than five toes. They had an advantage over other humans because they were a product of divinity and humanity. They were bigger and more powerful than regular humans. It is safe to say that many of the Greek gods and goddesses who have been said to have once lived on the earth were products of angels and man union. Because of their strength, these angels terrorized and oppressed other humans. They were filled with wickedness and perpetrated wicked actions. God was angry as he the Lord saw how utterly wicked people on earth had become. Every of their thought was only evil all the time. They stole, oppressed, and murdered people weaker than they. So God said, I will destroy the earth, the people I have created, and with them, the animals, birds, and creeping things. God decided it would wipe the earth with rain and start a new race of people who will be righteous and will fear him. God told Noah to build an ark of gopher wood with rooms inside three decks and a door. He was to cover it inside and out with pitch, and Noah did exactly as God commanded. Noah was a man of faith. He obeyed God and built an ark that he had never seen by just following the instructions of God. The ark was to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. When Noah was done making the ark, God asked him to come into the ark. He was to bring his family, his wife, his sons, and their wives. He was to take with him seven each of every clean animal, a male and female, two each of unclean animals, a male and female. He was also to take seven of the birds of the air, male and female, to keep the species alive on the face of all the earth. It started to rain seven days after Noah and his family entered the ark. It rained on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights non-stop. Noah at the time was 600 years old. God broke the fountains and opened up the windows of heaven and water filled the earth. The highest of mountains was covered up by water. No living thing survived it.
plant, animals, humans, big and small, they were all swallowed up by the water. Even though the rain stopped after 40 days, the earth was so filled that water stayed on the earth for 150 days. It took 150 days for the water on earth to dry up. God first sent a wind to blow over the water and it decreased a little. After a while, the ark moved and rested upon the mountains of Ararat. Three months later, as the water began to go down, the peak of all the mountains began to surface. After 40 days, Noah opened a hole in the ark and released a raven that flew back and forth until the earth was dry. A dove was also sent to see if there was dry land. The dove returned as it had not seen a place to light. The water on earth was still too high. Seven days later, Noah still sent out the dove. This time, the dove spent some time outside and came in the evening. It even brought an olive leaf in its beak. It was a sign that the water on the earth was almost gone. A week after this, Noah sent out the dove again. But this time, the dove didn't return. It had found a place to light. 29 days after, Noah opened the door of the ark to look. The water had gone, but the earth was not yet dry. After another eight weeks, the earth became dry. At this time, God told Noah that he could step out of the ark. He also asked him to release all the animals so they could reproduce. Noah, all the animals and his family members descended from the ark. As Noah came down, he sacrificed some animals that God had told him to separate before then. The sacrifice pleased God and he decided not to destroy the earth with water anymore. God blessed Noah's sons with a lot of children to populate the earth. He also blessed Noah and mankind. He gave them commandments and instruction that they had to follow. They were not to murder any man, as killing another man is the same as killing the one made like God. God sealed his promise not to destroy the earth with water, with rainbow. He put his rainbow in the sky. Whenever he sees the rainbow, he remembers his promise to man. Noah's children were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. From these sons of Noah, the nations of the earth were born. Noah became a farmer and tilled the earth. Here a fact about Noah and the flood. 1. Noah's father was Lamech. 2. Noah was a righteous man. 3. He lived in a time when there were strange occurrences on earth. Angels mated with humans and gave birth to giants. These giants oppressed the weak because they were of great strength. They continually had evil thoughts run through their mind. 4. It was the ninth generation after Adam. 5. He feared, regarded God, and lived uprightly. He always did what was pleasing in the sight of God. 6. He was chosen by God to preserve the earth. 7. His son's names were Shem, Ham, and Japhet. 8. He found favor in the sight of God because of his righteous deeds. 9. God told Noah to make an ark as he was going to destroy the earth with water. 10. God chose to preserve Noah because he was the only righteous man in a world of wicked people. 11. Noah was a man of faith because it took faith to create what he had never seen before. He only knew it by the description God had given him. 12. He was 600 years old when God sent rain to the earth. 13. Noah obeyed God, made the ark of gopher wood, and laid it inside and outside with pitch. 14. Noah was an obedient man as he obeyed God's every command, including the preservation of all species of creatures upon the earth. Even when it had stopped raining on the earth and the waters of the earth had begun to dry up, Noah waited for the voice of God to instruct him before he stepped out of the ark. 15. Noah was a considerate man as he sent into the ark alongside his family, those related to him by blood and affinity. 16. Noah was a man who honored God. The first thing he did after stepping out of the ark 
was to offer sacrifices to God for the mercy he had shown him and his household. 17. Noah had God's agenda at heart as he became a farmer until the ground to ensure that the plant that had been lost through the flood would be restored. 18. Noah had faith and trust in God. He entered an ark with all kinds of animals but trusted that God would preserve him. 19. The water of the earth lasted 150 days. 20. It took over 200 days for the earth to get dry.